Hello and welcome. In this video we are going to show you how to make a beeswax candle mold using composite mold reusable mold making materials. So we are using a little owl, ceramic owl as our original casting and we are going to hot glue it to the bottom of a plastic container. This plastic container acts as your mold box. You can use pretty much anything you want as a mold box. I like the plastic containers because I can just cut them off at the end and it's really simple. Other people like to use Legos or even a plastic bag can be used as a mold box within a box. Spray your object with a little bit of bubble buster to reduce surface tension so that the bubbles don't stay on the surface of the part when you pour in the composite mold. The composite mold was melted in the microwave for about a minute and a half to two minutes. The instructions say how long to do it for. This composite mold has been used many times so you'll see little specks in the composite mold. You can filter that out with a cheesecloth if necessary but in this case it won't change the mold any. And after that is cooled we cut off the mold box and we have our mold. The composite mold can be continuously reused as many times as you want. When you melt it you want to make sure you don't boil it first because that will make it darker and after a while it will add bubbles into the, into the mold. Composite mold melts at about 130 to 135 degrees Fahrenheit. You don't want to get it above about 180 degrees or 190 degrees Fahrenheit. Now you'll see a trick that we're going to use to do the beeswax which melts at about 160 degrees Fahrenheit. But first, let's remove our original master object from the composite mold mold. I'm going to clean up the edges a little bit with some scissors, and then I'm just going to pop the figure out. What I don't show in the video here is I cut down the edge a little bit of the mold, and I do that so that the wax, which is soft, can be pulled out of the mold faster or easier. Now as I pull these little pieces of composite mold off the surface, I don't want to throw those out. Those can be remelted and reused to make another mold anytime. So just put it back in the container that you're storing the composite mold in. When you're storing the composite mold, keep it in an enclosed container and it will last for years and years. The composite mold is extremely flexible so you can get away with undercuts in the mold without any problems at all. After you remove the original, admire your mold cavity, make sure it's what you want. If you don't like it, you can always remelt it and make another mold easily just by putting it back in the microwave. Now we're just going to clean up the edges a little bit and we'll be ready to pour in the wax. So here's the super cool trick for doing hot casting materials in composite mold. Just put the mold in the freezer or refrigerator a little bit so that it will cool and then when you pour the wax into the mold, the wax will cool before the composite mold has a chance to melt. So you can get up to temperatures of about 160, 175 degrees Fahrenheit without any problems in the mold as long as it's chilled first. Since this is a candle, we need to make room for the wick. So I'm going to use any pokey thing, in this case a Phillips screwdriver, to poke a hole into the top of the owl's head so I can make room for the wick. I'm using a pre-waxed wick, but you don't have to. You could use any wick material, and I could have used a screwdriver to push the wick into that hole. And then I just push it in, pull it out the other end so it's even with the bottom, and then I cut off the top of it. Composite mold can be used with a lot of different casting materials. Here we're showing it with the beeswax, but you can also use paraffin wax or soy wax, which is one of my favorites. Uh, soaps, resins, we even have chocolates or fondant versions as well. I melted the beeswax on the stove. It is a white beeswax when, when it is melted it's clear. I'm checking to make sure the wick is flat and the wick is straight up. I can use a piece of tape to hold that wick in place if necessary. In this case I don't need to. And now I'm ready to pour in the wax. A word of caution, wax is hot when it's melted, so be careful. You ought to be wearing gloves, unlike what I'm not doing here. Now this is the coolest part. As you pour in the wax into the mold, you'll see it turn white as it hits the surface of that mold. And that creates this barrier so that it won't melt the composite mold. So the wax is cooling from the outside of the mold into the inside of the mold. As you look closer, that white surface will become thicker and thicker as it cools. 
and we can put it in the refrigerator to cool faster if necessary. I just left it out and it cooled in a few hours. The flexibility of the composite mold is very nice in this situation because I can pull it away from the wax which is very soft and I want to use my thumb in my fingers to push that wick out of the mold so it doesn't get stuck and pull off any parts of the wax. And I'm gently sliding it out of the mold a little bit at a time. As long as you're careful this mold can be reused many many times to make more candles. If it starts to lose details the nice thing about composite mold is you can remelt it and make a new mold anytime that you'd like. And here is the Owl Beeswax Candle. Beautiful details, shiny surface. With a composite mold mold, you can make more owls anytime that you like, or you can remelt and make new molds. The choice is up to you, and you can do it as many times as you want. If you have any questions, suggestions, ideas, or any other comments, just let us know. You can find more information at compositemold.com. And thank you very much for being a part of this and for taking the time to watch this video. We'd love to see what you create.